Welcome. In this tutorial, we'll look at freezing tracks in FL Studio. We'll freeze some synths in this project. Let's freeze one of the synths on this playlist track. First, we need to identify what mixer tracks the pattern is using. In this case, there are two mixer tracks. But the first is routed to main synth and not the master. So we only need to freeze the main synth track. I'll right click the playlist track below and select insert one to make room for the frozen audio. Next, right click the mixer track record icon to select the name and location for your recording. Or you can left click it if you've already set a project folder from the F10 project general settings. Then from the mixer menu, select this recording and make sure Auto Unarm, Auto Create Audio Clip and 32-bit float recording are selected. Latency compensation only applies to external audio inputs. Finally, select Render to WAV files. You'll get a second chance to change quality settings with the Render dialog, but I'll select the defaults and click Start. While that's rendering, just a note, instrument channels are collected into patterns in the playlist, and patterns may feed multiple mixer tracks. So you simply arm and record any mixer tracks associated with the patterns in a playlist track. If you anticipate the need to freeze, keeping one instrument per playlist track, per mixer track, can make workflow simpler. But once you understand how freezing works, it's not really necessary. OK, let's group the audio with the source track and compare the two. Great, now to disable the patterns, we could click here to mute the track, but since we have some unrelated pattern clips on that playlist track, we'll use the mute tool and mute the clips that generated the audio. Cool, now what if you only want to freeze a section of a track? To do that, I'll start again by adding a track to hold the audio. And then I'll make a selection equal to the portion I want to freeze. Finally, I'll solo the playlist track and see what mixer tracks I need to freeze. And here we are. I'll arm that track for recording, select this recording, render to WAV file, and start. So there's our frozen selection. Using the mute tool, I can disable the clip. It's worth noting that if no other patterns are using the mixer track, you can disable the effects here to save a little more CPU. I hope that shows you how easy freezing in FL Studio can be. Until next time, enjoy freezing tracks in FL Studio.